So uh, hello and welcome to another Ask Me Anything. Today I have uh, Joaquin, uh, you already know him uh, with me, and uh, uh, Andri. He's our uh, 3D artist and uh, does a lot of things uh, around uh, textures. Uh, he can do characters. And uh, today we want to show you first uh, how we do the shapes in, um, in the game. So like uh, the mountains and everything. And then we will cover a little bit the design of the heroes, how they will look like and uh, what we actually have. So uh, thanks for being here. Uh, and uh, I will pass directly to uh, Andri to, to show us what he is actually working on right now. Uh, let me actually pull it up in the stream. Hey, Andri. Hello. Uh, thank you for intro. Uh, so um, mostly uh, right now I'm working with uh, uh, landscape, uh, mount formation. Uh, so right now we uh, try to uh, put uh, as much as possible uh, volume and uh, beauty in uh, our world. Mm. So uh, yeah, uh, I uh, right now I have uh, some. Uh, hexagon shaped uh, mountain and uh, hills formation uh, and uh, i'm working uh, mostly with uh, a great pro not base uh, program uh, called uh, word machine and uh, right now uh, as you can see this uh, little uh, uh, it's uh, supposed to be like a big uh, mountain, but uh, we can adjust uh, any time uh, scale. So uh, as uh, for process of this uh, uh, mountain creation, uh, it's uh, not uh, easy things, but uh, mostly it's a uh, start with uh, basic shapes uh, where we can uh, define uh, uh, start point. When we can, uh, for example, uh, with uh, green, uh, we have a uh, main uh, shape and uh, one extra shape which help us to reduce or subtract uh, in a certain place. Uh, that's desired, uh, desired. Uh, we can uh, design it uh, as we want and we uh, need to see if we can uh, <laughs> in 3D or uh, from top as we uh, and feel more comfortable. Placed in the game, right? So Yeah, we... yeah. Uh, there we have uh, go through a different uh, uh, transformation. For example, if we uh, take a look at the simplest beginning, we see pretty basic and smooth form when uh, afterwards we can uh, switch to uh, small uh, detail adjustment uh, with uh, i would say uh, erosion mm. adding uh, noise then we can uh, see uh, shape for example if we make it too steep we could have mm. uh, like a plateau shape or have a smooth transition back <laughs> to see uh, maybe a small private island in the ocean. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so next uh, we adjust uh, adding or uh, reducing amount of erosion with flow. Mm -hmm. So we get in uh, with each step more and more uh, details, and then we have a quite a comfort, uh, good and easy to use a, a quick texture in a node, which uh, just throw a basic uh, coloring with uh, uh, influenced by uh, high map uh, shapes because uh, high maps it's uh, generally black and white uh, with transition in gray uh, shape uh, bitmap which uh, influence on the shape where uh, the white uh, the bright uh, uh, of <laughs> color of white uh, gives higher um, my, add uh, more height so uh, mm -hmm. we can uh, demonstrate here, for example. 
That's complicated. I thought it would be easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, no, no. We just uh, near the finish. So here we have combination where this high map with coloring uh, form uh, this uh, quite good, almost uh, scenic, movie scenic uh, view. Mm -hmm. uh, I could, uh, one second, uh, make it uh, full scale on screen. So quite a good uh, mountain formation for desert or maybe dry it out ocean. <laughs> mm -hmm. So and, and uh, in this way we uh, could uh, do whatever mountain we want. Uh, I have uh, several other uh, examples like this. Mm. Yeah, by the way, this is uh, what we get uh, model uh, mesh uh, from these programs uh, mm -hmm. on which we throw a texture and uh, other technical uh, map, which uh, finally help us uh, to get uh, this kind of result. Mm -hmm. that's, and, that's... Uh... Let me actually uh, uh, show the uh, gameplay real quick. So in the game, uh, are those the, sh the shapes that you created, for example? Uh, not mine, but uh, I also have uh, similar to this, uh, which would be a much more uh, modern uh, update. Uh, recently, mm -hmm. I preparing to insert them in, put them into the game project. Mm -hmm. Those were kind of like a placeholder because we have been experimenting different textures and uh, up to now we were using the, 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 the rock formation and the mountains you see now in game, but uh, Andre is, is preparing a whole bunch of new textures more adapted to the, to the landscape that we need and more believable, right? We are kind of building up the game in such a way that we go through interactions and we are trying to make it better, better, better until now Andre just came up with this uh, solution that is going to bring the game into another level. The, yeah. what the, the players ha have to think as well is like we've designed the whole world map uh, plan in uh, in uh, in Turkey, and we've modeled the whole thing together. And now we're going to go closer to that to that and to see the terrain, the relief, rock formation, and everything. And it's quite a lot of uh, work. So Andre is doing just awesome with. Uh, those kind of exploration and trying to make it greater game. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And, and that's what we said from the beginning, right? So we, we start with the functionalities and then later we add the, the beauty to it because we first want to have a function game and then later we make it like pretty. Uh, I think that, that summons it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's really nice. And uh, what else uh, are you working on there? Um... Mm, yeah, mostly uh, previously I have uh, been uh, worked uh, with uh, architecture, uh, so uh, yeah, uh, we have, uh, one second, uh, one second, uh, this uh, scene, we have uh, now uh, all full, almost almost uh, fully covered uh, two fraction uh, of uh, Turkish uh, and uh, one second, yeah, uh, and uh, Crusade uh, Nation. So mm -hmm. there's uh, uh, a few uh, buildings left, uh, which uh, right now just uh, engage, uh, replace uh, with uh, placeholders. Uh, so we are having uh, explored with uh, our. Uh, concept artist uh, general architectures of uh, two fractions uh, of uh, Ottoman uh, Empire, as I understand, uh, and uh, the Kai and the Crusader. And Crusaders, yeah. So we have assembled a bunch of reference uh, and uh, concept artists, uh, they uh, collected uh, cool library of concept uh, and uh, everything uh, after because it's uh, like a mostly difficult part uh, to come up with a general design 
Mm. And uh, then uh, we, uh, as a 3D artist, uh, are not much, not much left uh, to have a range in design. Uh, so we just uh, filled them with uh, a lot of details and uh, uh, cool so texturing. Bring the the art to life. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, from uh, uh, draft uh, sketch uh, to. I believe uh, what uh, you could say, beauty corner. <laughs> <laughs> so. Where well the uh, our our uh, game players are gonna notice is as how uh, the 3D artists mm. they, they they bring magic to our game. I mean, we start the whole thing just with a concept, right? Just yeah. placing cubes and shapes, uh, shape language that distinguish both factions or nationalities, uh, crusaders in, in one sense and the other one, the Turkish. And after uh, Andri and, and another uh, 3D uh, artist as well are modeling the whole thing and they put textures on the top and they place it in game and they look so believable and we can rotate it and it's like, okay, it's almost like we are uh, traveling there where we want to, to have our, our fight or battle. The thing is like, the players are see are seen work in progress because after we have the whole terrain and a whole building there, we have to study how the light is going to be hitting the whole environment. So what we see here is just a, a phase, a preface of what's going to be in the game because when we decide the color of the light, the temperature of the light, and if we have a cool light, dark sh uh, shadows, or uh, warm light and, and and cool shadows. All this is going to be studied in the in the future, and the, and our followers are going to see and notice all these transitions. But it's good that the that at that some point our our followers are kind of like participating without constructing the, this game. So uh, the fact that we share this information with the community allows us to have feedback from them, but as well they can see uh, step by step how is the, the, this game is taking shape, and that's why we we show every everything on the edge profession and Andy is doing awesome with these three models that we see there. Yeah, I love it. I could watch that whole day how you guys go into <laughs> and do fancy things. Like uh, I like it. And uh, uh, let, let's also move on to uh, the, the heroes in the game. So um, you guys are uh, also uh, creating the heroes and then bring them to life in 3D, right? Right. Um, yes. Could you show us how this one works as well? Yeah, uh, I am uh, gonna share my uh, my screen now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So, okay. the, do you yeah. see my screen? Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So the thing is, like, basically, like the buildings. Now we've we've we create uh, uh, the environment where. Uh, the action is going to take place. And now we put the setting, the terrain, the relief with the mountains, the rocks, and now we're going to put in the, the living part of that. It's going to be our characters. The players uh, or, or uh, followers have seen already animals, but we are doing the same thing with the creation of characters. Basically, we start with concept art like that, just simple sketches, just playing with the shapes, and uh, as well uh, trying to find the more uh, uh, shapes and, and, and warriors that we would like to see that they are they are running, fighting, and participating as actors in uh, in our scene. So basically, those are some of the of the characters under discussion that we seen they might fit in our environment. After that, we go further on 3D, just trying to convey how they are going to be dressed up, the we the weapons they're going to hold. The kind of faces where will be the 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 points of more attention that we want to press and and show to the to the players. And after when we say okay, now we have an idea about what we're gonna have appearing in our game. So there we decide just not to uh, leave it on two D, but rather to convert all these characters in three D. So basically, the three D artists what they do is to work on low polygon on characters like you see that. Mm. It's a, it looks strange, right? Because it's just black and white, but you can see something uh, that is uh, that has a, a volume in it. 
obviously as we have to, to work with uh with very tiny dimensions what we do is to mat project a texture on all these low polygon uh character that you see here so basically this we're creating uh uh, a T pose, right? Like a T shirt, where we have this character that we can rotate them. And after we apply the texture on the top of it, once apply the texture, it gives us something like that. Okay. Oh, Still looks kind of rough, but when you uh, just diminish the proportion of the scaling of this warrior, and after you tackle animation on that, that this is our purpose, that the, they are living warriors that are, are able to idle in the in the terrain, run, walk, even fight both factions. Even as well, we are planning to have a troop that moves from one place to the other one to get the fight. And then we'll add sounds and music and whatever. And mm. it's like the player can see that okay, I'm in a in a in a brand new uh, movie playing with that. No. That's what we said. Like we start with the basic stuff to show how it works, and then later we make a beauty again. Exactly. That applies to so well. basically, from from this basic T shade, and after we can model and and put a, a gesture on that pose, something that our our community needs to to know is that why we are working on on T poses like that is because this is the the starting point for uh, later on at animation so it's going to be a, a 3d animator who's gonna just create all the uh, different articulations of the of the character and it's going to be creating uh, the, the 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 skeleton for uh, giving different posing and mm -hmm. make them move later on so we'll have this character for example and a, a bunch of others like from the t-pose just having different attitudes even holding weapons and uh, fighting, running in our uh, terrain and uh, mm. and all this that you can see here. Okay? So basically, we we are working from a, from a, from a small to large. The thing after is we put them in context in the terrain that, for example, Andre has uh, has created, and we see how it matched with the different buildings, with the trees, with the landscape, and we want that the whole picture looks believable, that the player feels, okay, I'm really in there, I'm uh, focused on, on the on the gameplay, and as well uh, admiring all the, the, the artwork that's been created for that purpose. Yeah, really cool, thanks for sharing that. And once it's ready, uh, it will be in the game, basically like here, we have the Hero Academy, where you can then uh, train the heroes, but that's not 3D yet. But if we go to the um, to the world uh, to the province map, then uh, when we go from one place to another, and that that's placeholder images at the moment. But if we uh, go, for example, here and attack uh, with our uh, heroes, then uh, those characters will be with more animation. So we already adjusted this one, and it will look better later. But that's the animation you're talking about, right? So now it's just a placeholder and later everything will move there will be units behind it so um looking forward to seeing that in the game uh yeah, i already yeah. like the placeholder but it's basically like uh what we are uh creating movies right we start with a with a storyboard uh, with mm. a <laughs> book and after we create the characters the setting the layouts and after it comes the the animation is step by step we are dressing up our game in such a way that we are uh, presenting more compelling, more staging, more appealing to the to the player. And after, when we have everything that works well, we add special effects. We I'm pretty sure that we're going to have videos that show that you have some clouds there that is improving the visuals. Now they are very kind of low, kind of almost touching the ground, but it's just to see how they participate in the scene. But we have to adjust everything to make it more uh, believable and realistic. And yeah. uh, I think it's like okay. We need to, to to feel that we are there and we are really playing a battle uh, in this environment. Yeah, that's what I always say. Like uh, the image you see now will not be the final image. It will look way better and, and way cooler. And I I don't know if if you guys notice, but we have uh, uh, artists as well that they spend their time on putting. I don't know if you go on a close up, you see even birds flying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that that is, is just kind of a little thought that bring you more into reality and more appealing in our game. Yeah.
You see them? Yeah. 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 yeah it's really nice. I like how everything comes to place and uh, uh, soon we will start the early access uh, where the landowners uh, can already play the game so they get a build. Uh, they are able to play the game, give us feedback, uh, what to improve, uh, so we can start the, the uh, extended early access in, uh, in summertime and then in October we have public access because then we've collected all feedback that we have. Uh, and so if you guys in the community have any kind of feedback, drop it in the comments below. We are happy for every feedback that we get uh, because we want to build the game with you guys. So, um, yeah, thanks, uh, Joaquin. And, uh, that's that's, that's uh, the, 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 the key issue here in this, uh, in this game is that we allow as well the, our, uh, our followers that participate in the creation on that uh, on that uh, game uh, will be that things, but we listen very carefully as well what they are saying. And when this game is going to be released and playable, uh, I mean, uh, we want to satisfy uh, everybody's uh, interest and uh, and intention. Yeah, looking forward to it. I love your animations that yeah. you put in there as placeholders as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then thanks, uh, Andri and uh, Joaquin, for joining today. Uh, and uh, yeah, see you on the next AMA. Thank, Thank you very much, guys. Bye. Thank okay, you. the rest Bye. of the day. Cheers. Bye-bye.